we're up here on the uh, very edge of Chester County, in Delaware, heading towards Delaware. And Pete and I were out here chasing down a lead, and we came across this awesome giant old building along this trail. It was made out of a ton of local sourced stone, pegmatite with mica and feldspar, and and Pete found Viking a samurai sword. sword. Yeah, it's a Viking sword. This is the earliest proof of Vikings in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah folks, we're going to put this one on the map because if you walk along the edge of this trail, there's gorgeous feldspar everywhere to be found. But this is great. What an awesome uh, uh, example of local rock used in construction. An apple from the 1700s. Oh, well, that's why it looks terrible. <laughs> Yeah, did take a quick bite out of it. Tell me how it tastes. But you can see the shimmy and shimmer and shine on this mixed in. It's all over the place, but you can see the feldspar and obviously the shimmer of the mica. Well, we thought we'd share this with you guys. This is too cool. Local history. If Pete and I could figure out what this building was. Because it's sizable. I mean, that's one end all the way down there to the other. I mean, what are we talking, Pete? That's got to be 120 feet long, essentially. Yeah, all the way down. Yeah. So nothing, nothing to scoff at there. Well, we found another one, another building out here. See all the old nails. I'm looking for the top so we can do a little bit of dating on these. By the heads on the nails, these are handmade nails. Um, these were made before they had machines hammering them out. Somebody made each and every one of those nails by hand, uh, at least from the looks of it. They're not square head, mind you. I don't think these are. Uh, I don't think these are machine made nails. I could be wrong. It's interesting, one way or the other. Yeah, we've got, you can see just the big old quartz chunky up here. Yeah, I love stuff like this. Kind of a crossover between my loves of old buildings and minerals. Pete, you should see some of the quartz on, hey, wave hi, Pete. And got going up yeah. And this is probably where the pizza oven was. <laughs> You know, I could go for a nice pie right now. But if you look here, you can actually see plaster on the wall still. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty neat stuff. Cool that it's still here. Look at that old window frame home, hanging on for dear life. But we got some trees growing up there. And, uh, what is this? Uh, turkey, turkey feather? Um... Lichen? Jamie Swisher will correct me on what this actually is. <laughs> Isn't that cool, though? I love this stuff. All right, Hounders. There's a little history lesson. Like I said, we'll be putting this location on the map so you can come experience this fun... Look at the size of this thing. Look at it. Yeah, like Pete was saying, there's the bricks for the fireplace. Cool stuff, folks. All right, folks. Well, this is that trail we found that runs, what is this, Big Elk Creek over here? Yep. To our left. There's a ton of rooms we just found out from one of the locals that uh, used to be a paper mill. Those buildings we found. And the rest of the ruins are apparently back that way on the other side. You can see him heading that way, but it's going to be over here. But nice walking here. It appears to be uh, outcropping down there. Yeah, it sure does. And you can see now a lot of this is posted purple on the left side, so mind, mind your tuckuses sure. and uh, you won't have a problem. There's no purple. No, I don't see any purple here. No. Uh, but as you come in, you'll see yeah. it. Correct. But uh, honestly, for those of uh, 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 folks in the group who have uh, movement issues, this is a really easy trail, and I could, I could easily see somebody in a wheelchair being able to maneuver this, maneuver this very easily. So yeah, nice easy uh Well oh, anybody can do a movement somewhere up around there. <laughs> it's a different kind of movement, Pete. Oh 
It's important, but a different kind of movement. Yeah, look at all that stone down there. Yeah, definitely a lot of hills around here. There's yeah, lots. Some kind of outcropping throughout that. Yep. Area. So this is a great area to come in the winter time when the, uh, the weeds are down. All right, folks, just wanted to give you a, a little glimpse of where we were and what you'd be walking into. Lots of little tributaries and a lot of feeder, streams. feeder creeks. It's like, what, the fourth feeder stream? Got to be. Lots of culverts. Yeah, nice in here. 